Currently, I'm a marketing manager at an investment firm in downtown Milwaukee. Um, I really got into um, gun dogs and hunting through mutual friends actually in this area. I grew up in this area and um, through some of my high school friends um, got into hunting, got into upland bird hunting, went grouse hunting with them up north at their cabin. My goal was always to have my own dog. So about 11 years ago I purchased, actually it'll be 12 this December, I purchased a dog at the Milwaukee Journal Sports Show, a German short hair. First dog, never, I hunted behind flushers, I've hunted behind pointing dogs. I knew I wanted a pointing dog. Actually I met Tom at the sports show. I mean he had a couple, a booth a couple aisles across from us and as I'd go back and go back and forth and after I purchased the dog I talked to Tom Waite and uh, you know, he asked, you know, what are you going to do for training? I mean we had some mutual friends because I knew Tom Waite was from around the Greendale area. Um, when he grew up and, and I thought you know this is a perfect way to get me started as well as getting the dog started so that's actually how I met Tom Wade it was through the, the sports show the relationship the friendship the professional relationship through um, training of dogs I always had some of their foundation we had mutual friends mutual family so um, I got to know Tom Wade through his cousin through the sports show and he trained my uh, my first dog which was a German short hair which he doesn't have as part of his breeding, but he knows the pointing world and the pointing dogs. I mean, if it's a Drothar, if it's a German short hair, if it's a pointer, if it's a setter, the pointing breed, um, Tom knows inside and out. So that's that's how I got to meet Tom Waite and uh, basically through the sports show. Well, come to find out my dog wasn't a natural retriever. So that um, brought me back to Tom Waite to say, Tom, you know, I really want to do the shoot to retrieve trials. I want to get into trialing, but for shoot to retrieve, you need the retrieve. So Tom Wade said, we'll bring him out, we'll, uh, we'll put him through some evaluation, and sure enough, he needed to be force-fetched. And he was about two and a half years old. So um, as we went through the process with Tom Wade, um, I left Rookie here for, it had to be about two or three weeks, and Tom would have me come out probably once a week, if not twice a week, and go through the steps with him. And you know, to tell you the truth, that first week that I came out here, I told myself as I was driving home, there's no way Tom's going to get this dog to retrieve. Well, a week later, a week later, Tom Waite had Rookie one step further every week that I came out there, actually a couple steps further, and by the third week, Rookie was making the retrieves there and back just like we would need in the field trials. So I, I was as pleased as heck, so I went back, got entered the field trialing, and to make a long story short, in 2005, through Tom's training, I was fortunate enough to win the Wisconsin Region Championship with Rookie. And by, I know without a shadow of a doubt, without his force fetching, obviously in the retrieving trials, I would never have got to that level. So from 2000 of, his, of Tom Waits' training to 2005, we won the regional championship. And that year, I believe, or 2006, we titled him as a one-time national champion. And again, every year I would come out with Rookie with Tom Waite and we'd freshen up on something. I'd leave him here for a month, we'd go through backing drills, we'd go through the force fetch again just to reinforce it because we want a sharp, snappy, quick retrieve here and back. I said, you know what, I want to try getting a finished dog. I want a stone cold broke dog. He said, Greg, I know you've always wanted it. He goes, I would really, it's from my breeding, I would, I would recommend taking this dog. So we took Deuce, and with Tom Waite's training, we got her on the circuit, we ran her in some puppy, we ran her in some derby, and we came to find out that I took her grouse hunting, he took her to North Dakota. She was an unbelievable hunting dog. She backed naturally, she retrieved naturally, she loved the water, which is kind of odd sometimes for setters. With Tom's um, breeding, I mean, like I said, natural water, natural backing, natural pointing. Tom Waite's exposure to me through the field trialing, through the hunting, He's kind of opened my eyes to a lot of other things other than that German short here 12 years ago. The thing that I find enjoyable is that I can pass on Tom Waite's um, experience and exposure to my friends. Um, currently, I had a friend of mine that we hunt with bought an English setter from Tom. Another friend of mine brought his setter down to um, do some, was um, used one of his dogs as a stud dog. So they're having a litter out of, um, I believe it was either Woody or Mac, one of them. But it's actually opened up Tom Waite threw me to other opportunities that he might have.